Canon has recently unveiled two of their most anticipated flagship cameras, the EOS R1, aimed at professional photographers, and the EOS R5 Mark II, an all-rounder building on its predecessor's success. In this video, we'll compare these two powerhouses, covering everything from design and features to performance and price, helping you decide which one suits your needs best. Let's dive in. The EOS R1 and R5 Mark II share some design DNA, but they differ significantly in size, weight, and overall layout. The R1 is noticeably larger and heavier, sporting a built-in vertical grip that gives it a more substantial feel in hand. This design choice caters to professionals who often shoot in portrait orientation and need quick access to controls. Both cameras feature vari-angle touchscreen LCDs, a feature that's become increasingly popular among photographers and videographers alike. The R1 screen is slightly smaller at 2.95 inch compared to the R5 2's 3.2, but this difference is unlikely to be a deal-breaker for most users. When it comes to viewfinders, the R1 takes a clear lead with its superior EVF boasting 9.44 million dots and 0.90x magnification. This provides an incredibly detailed and immersive viewing experience that's about as close to optical viewfinders as current technology allows. The R5 II, while still impressive, offers a 5.76 million dot OLED EVF. Both provide blackout-free performance, ensuring you never lose sight of your subject during burst shooting. One standout feature on both cameras is the Eye Control AF, a technology Canon has resurrected from its film SLR days. This innovative system allows users to select focus points simply by looking at them through the viewfinder, potentially speeding up compositions in fast-paced shooting scenarios. The R1 comes with more physical controls and a handy top LCD, catering to professionals who prefer tactile controls and quick access to settings. The R5 II keeps things more compact, which might appeal to photographers who value portability or those coming from smaller DSLR or mirrorless systems. Both cameras are built to withstand the rigors of professional use, with robust weather sealing to protect against dust and moisture. However, the R1's build quality is notably superior, as you'd expect from Canon's top-tier flagship model. Connectivity is another area where the R1 shines, offering both Ethernet and full-size HDMI ports. These additions will be particularly valuable for studio photographers or those who need to quickly transfer large files or connect to external monitors. The R1 also sports dual control dials at the top of each grip, a feature the R5 II lacks, giving quick access to exposure settings in both horizontal and vertical shooting orientations. At the heart of these cameras lie two different approaches to sensor design. The R1 packs a 24.2 MP stacked full-frame sensor that's optimized for speed and low-light performance. This lower resolution allows for larger individual pixels, which typically translates to better noise handling at high ISO settings. The R5 Mark II, on the other hand, retains the 45 MP sensor from its predecessor but upgrades to a stacked design for faster readouts. This higher resolution provides more detail and greater flexibility for cropping, making it potentially more attractive for landscape, studio, or commercial photographers who prioritize image detail. Both sensors utilize Canon's Dual Pixel CMOS AF technology, which has been consistently impressive in terms of focusing speed and accuracy. The stack design in both cameras should also contribute to reduced rolling shutter effects when using the electronic shutter, a boon for both stills and video work. Both the R1 and R5 Mark II feature Canon's latest dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system, enhanced with deep learning capabilities. This advanced system offers improved subject detection and tracking, capable of recognizing and following human faces, eyes, and bodies, as well as animals, including birds, and vehicles. However, the R1 takes autofocus a step further by introducing cross-type AF points, a first for mirrorless cameras. This feature, borrowed from high-end DSLRs, should provide increased accuracy and reliability, especially in challenging lighting conditions or when shooting subjects with low contrast. 
the combination of cross-type AF points, the speed-optimized sensor, and Canon's latest tracking algorithms make the R1 particularly adept at following erratic or fast-moving subjects. This could give it a significant edge for sports and wildlife photographers. While the R5 Mark II doesn't have cross-type AF points, its AF system is still highly capable. It benefits from improved algorithms and increased processing power, which should result in faster and more accurate focusing compared to its predecessor. When it comes to burst shooting, both cameras are impressively fast, but the R1 takes the crown. It can shoot at an astounding 40 frames per second with its electronic shutter, while the R5 Mark II is no slouch at 30 frames per second. Both cameras also offer a pre-shooting feature, which starts capturing images when you half-press the shutter button. The R1 can buffer up to 20 pre-captured frames, while the R5 Mark II manages 15. This feature can be a game-changer for capturing unpredictable action, effectively giving you a head start on fleeting moments. The R1's larger body likely accommodates a bigger buffer, allowing for longer bursts of high-speed shooting before the camera slows down. This could be crucial for photographers covering extended action sequences, such as in sports or wildlife photography. Both cameras offer impressive video specs that will satisfy most filmmakers and content creators. The R5 Mark II takes the lead in resolution, offering 8K video at up to 60 frames per second. The R1, while limited to 6K 60p, is still highly capable and likely benefits from better heat management due to its larger body. Both cameras provide 4K 120p options for smooth slow motion footage, as well as the ability to record raw video internally. This gives videographers maximum flexibility in post-production, allowing for extensive color grading and exposure adjustments. Canon has also included various log profiles in both cameras, providing enhanced dynamic range for those who prefer to color grade their footage. The exact offerings may vary between the two models, but both should provide ample tools for professional video work. It's worth noting that while the original R5 faced some criticism for overheating during extended video recording, Canon has likely addressed this in the R5 Mark II. The R1, with its larger body and presumably more advanced heat dissipation, may have an advantage for long, uninterrupted video shoots. The EOS R1 commands a premium price of $6,299, reflecting its position as Canon's top-of-the-line professional camera. This higher price is justified by its specialized features like the superior EVF, faster burst rate, cross-type AF points, and robust build quality. The EOS R5 Mark II, priced at $4,499, offers a more balanced approach for a wider range of photography styles. While still a significant investment, it provides high resolution, impressive video capabilities, and advanced AF features at a more accessible price point. Choosing between the EOS R1 and EOS R5 Mark II ultimately depends on your specific needs and budget. The R1 is clearly aimed at professional sports and action photographers who need the absolute best in speed, autofocus, and durability. Its superior EVF, faster burst rate, cross-type AF points, and exceptional battery life make it a powerhouse for capturing fast-moving subjects in challenging conditions. The R5 Mark II, on the other hand, offers a compelling blend of high-resolution stills, 8K video, and advanced AF at a lower price point. Its more compact body and hybrid card slots make it a versatile option for a wide range of photography and videography needs. For dedicated sports and action photographers, or those working in demanding professional environments, the R1 specialized features may well justify its higher price tag. However, for many professionals and serious enthusiasts, the R5 Mark II's versatility and lower cost make it a more practical choice. Both cameras represent the cutting edge of Canon's mirrorless technology, and either one is capable of producing stunning results in the hands of a skilled photographer. Thanks for watching. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Which camera do you think comes out on top? Let us know in the comments below.
and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more gear comparisons and photography content. Until next time.